Vegetable oil is a fat extracted from the fruit or seeds of certain plants, such as corn, canola, cottonseed, safflower, sunflower, or soybean. There are various ways to extract the oil. The method we're about to see is called cold pressing. It all starts with seeds, in this case, a dark variety of sunflower seeds. Cold pressing yields less oil than other methods, so it's usually just smaller specialty companies that use the process. The big vegetable oil makers tend to use solvents and high-pressure, high-speed presses. That's much more productive, but it also generates heat, which darkens the oil and diminishes its flavor and nutritional value. These seeds, shells and all, will go through this low-pressure press. The temperature inside is kept below 40 degrees Celsius, hence the term cold-pressed. The press operator has to carefully monitor and adjust the speed, pressure and temperature, because keeping a press cool is no easy task, given the heat that mashing seeds naturally generates. The pressing mechanism, the screw press, is made up of several sections, so they can shorten or lengthen it according to the type of seeds they're pressing, to allow for more or less room for the seeds within the chamber. hundred kilograms of seeds per hour go through the press producing some 38 liters of oil low volume but high quality the seed residue called seed cakes is later sold for animal feed now though it's key to monitoring temperature if the seed cakes are too warm that means heat is building up and they have to open the exit wider to reduce the inside pressure and bring the temperature down. Once the oil is extracted, they pump it through a filtration system. These cloth filters allow the oil to pass through, but any remaining seed residue gets caught in the fibers. The oil runs through the filters repeatedly until it becomes clear. Mastering the art of cold pressing takes a lot of know-how and experience, but it results in oil that's healthier and tastier. Cold pressed oils made from other seeds pose different production challenges. Flax seed and hemp seed are extremely sensitive to heat, so workers have to cool the press during the process to offset the heat that pressing generates. Canola, on the other hand, isn't particularly sensitive to heat, nor is sesame. All natural, no preservative vegetable oils like these have to be babied because exposure to air makes them prematurely spoil. Plastic isn't airtight, so they bottle these oils in glass dark glass to block oil's other enemy, light. They seal the bottles with a flow control cap. Without preservatives, sunflower, canola and sesame oils have an 18 month shelf life. Flax seed and hemp seed oils have to be refrigerated. Even then, they go bad after just a few months.